Scammers are taking people's voice and using artificial intelligence to clone these voices so they can use them for criminal purposes. Steve Sprache is digging deeper into who's behind this dangerous new security threat and how you can protect yourself. It's pretty obvious this isn't my voice. Rather, it's Judith lip syncing me. But what happens when a criminal clones my voice, making it sound exactly like me and making me say things I would never say? We're all learning how artificial intelligence can be used to create written documents which mimic real writing styles and can be used to fool people into thinking that they are real. Now, the same thing is happening with audio. Transnational criminal groups that are taking advantage of technology, including artificial intelligence and machine learning, to clone your voice. And with both the government and some private sector organizations using voice identification, that is going to be a real problem. And where are these criminals getting our voices so they can clone them? Well, it turns out we're handing it to them online from our social media postings and recordings. One of the things that we need to be really careful about right now is making sure that we don't have our voices easily downloadable on the internet. Once they have your voice, how do they figure out to combine it with your other information? Turns out they're building profiles on you, just like social media companies. They'll steal your name, your date of birth, your social security number. They'll get that off the internet. Then they'll just type in your name. They'll then use a clone voice to pretend it's a relative in trouble who needs money. Or they'll try and get into other sensitive accounts, and all of it's being done from overseas. I'm assuming because they're offshore and law enforcement can't reach them. Yeah, and, and that's part of the problem. If your voice is out there on social media, the best way to protect yourself, don't opt into voice identification systems. And be extra wary of calls from someone claiming to know you. Ask questions of them that only they would know the answer to. Also, companies are creating technology to determine when it's a voice cloned by a machine and not a real human voice. But it's going to take time to get those systems online. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher.